my motto that I use with all of our clients and I follow myself is live for today and plan for tomorrow. Now, I had a really uh, personal experience where my father who worked 16 hour days, seven days a week for as long as I could remember and, and followed the traditional plan of trying to squirrel away every last red cent in order to retire at 65 and live the dream. At age 66, one year after he was supposed to be in retirement, enjoying the fruits of his labor, was diagnosed with late stage pancreatic cancer and was given months to live. Mm. And on his deathbed, he gave me one last piece of advice. And it was a quote from Confucius. And he said, Jackson, every single person in this world has two lives. And your second life starts when you realize that you only have one. Mm. tomorrow is not promised and the idea here of how we can create this sustainable journey for true wealth creation and financial freedom is we live for today and plan for tomorrow Mm. let's stop deferring gratification because it's been proven that the vast majority of people cannot do it Mm. we're not intrinsically wired to defer gratification and sacrifice and compromise long term so you fall off the wagon you reinforce your failure It further keeps you cemented within your scarcity mindset that I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I don't know enough, it's too hard because you're running an impossible race. Mm. Mm. So I'm a big believer in the idea of having your cake and eating it too. So let's get into Mm. the nuts and bolts then, right? You you say there are so many people that um, you you say their philosophy is um, save now so we can uh, retire. How do you have your cake and eat it too? I know that's a large bloody question, sure. but let's try and let's try and break that down. <laughs> let's simplify it this way. So in my first book, I wrote about a, a project that was done at Stanford University called the Marshmallow Experiment. Have you guys heard of it? Yeah. No. Awesome. So for those who are listening, maybe haven't, what they did is I was trying to test whether people are born with the ability to defer gratification or whether it's a learned behavior. So they took four and five-year-old kids, they put them in a room, they gave them a marshmallow and they said, hey, I'm going to leave. And if I come back and you haven't eaten the marshmallow, I'll give you a second one. And they left for 15 minutes. And what they worked out is that two out of three kids would eat the marshmallow. Some at one minute, some at four minutes, some at 14 minutes and 50 seconds. Two out of three would eat the marshmallow and one out of three wouldn't. So that means that one third of society has some capacity to defer gratification and two thirds don't, the vast majority don't. Then as a a little bit of a a neurodivergent person, I questioned, well, who wrote those rules? That test is all based on the assumption that there is a scarcity of means. It's either have it now or have more later. Mm -hmm. What if I want to eat the marshmallow now and have more later? I just need to increase the total number of marshmallows to three. Mm -hmm. So, Shrinking yourself wealthy and scarcity-based wealth principles are built on the assumption that your income is not abundant, that it's a fixed number that you have to work within. It is not an absence of means that is the issue. It is the absence of proper planning. Mm. So if I want to live an amazing lifestyle that allows me to set up an animal sanctuary and live my dream life now and do all of these things, then I can crunch the numbers on that. And if I want to have enough surplus that I can build wealth to create freedom and flexibility in the future, then how much above and beyond that lifestyle do I need to earn in order to have both? And this now becomes my income target. But the difference being that instead of most people who just pick a number out of the air based on ego, this is a number that is intrinsically linked to the goals, dreams, and aspirations that I want. Mm. So if I can link the outcome to the activity required to presuppose that outcome, it completely shifts my mindset, my energy, and my determination to make that happen. Mm -hmm. And this is the core thread of how we work with our clients. And it's simple, but in execution, this is what allows us to elevate our clients' results. Mm 